Hello my beautiful friends! As promised, I'm here with lip swatches of all the new The Healthy Lip Velvet Liquid Lipsticks from Physicians Formula. I did just post a Physicians Formula Spring 2018 video, so if you're interested in seeing more of the new stuff from Physicians Formula, I will link that video down below. These are brand new lip products. I'm going to be showing you lip swatches of all 13 shades. First, let me give you just a little bit of product info. The Healthy Lips are available from Ulta as well as several drugstores. I like this flattened pointy tip applicator. It makes precision application really easy. I only needed to dip into the product once to get full coverage on my lips, except for the deepest shade, which I'll talk about that later. The retail price on the Ulta website is $6.99. These do often go on sale. You can usually find a buy one, get one half off type of deal if you are patient. You can usually find that on the Ulta website. However, I think $6.99 is a very fair price for these. I'm surprised that they're not a little bit more. Physicians Formula does tend to be pretty expensive for the drugstore. However, $6.99 seems just about right for a liquid lipstick from the drugstore. The NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams are $6.49 from the Ulta website. You are getting just a tiny bit more product in the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. These are 8 milliliters. The Physicians Formula are 7 milliliters. I think the Revlon Liquid Lips are more like $7 or $8.99, so I'm surprised and happy with the price of these. I just want to read you some of the claims about this lip product from the Ulta website. It says that they are long-lasting and skincare infused, moisturizing, lavishly pigmented, with a rich and creamy texture. Ooh, enriched with avocado oil, the beauty miracle worker for hydration and moisturization. It also contains vitamins A and E, glides on easily for one stroke payoff, soft, satin matte effect with incredible adherence to lips without setting in fine lines. Comfortable, cushy feel does not dry or cake. In general, I am going to agree with pretty much all of that. I've been wearing these lipsticks for about a week now. If you look back at some of my other videos, you'll see this shade All Natural Nude has been a go-to for me. When you first apply this product to the lips, it is very smooth and it reminds me a lot of the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips. It's not quite liquidy, but it's not quite thick and moussey. It's somewhere in between. And this does dry down. It just takes a while. After several minutes, this will be pretty much completely dried. It's not that super dry, feel like your lips are going to crack off matte dryness. It does feel like there's still some moisture left on the lips, but I'm not really getting a whole ton of transfer onto my lips. I wouldn't say these are completely transfer proof, but they're definitely pretty close. If I like rubbed my finger across my lips like this, I could rub it off, but just like general touching, it's not really transferring off too badly. I would describe these healthy lips as sort of a cross between a ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip and the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. Those are both products that I really, really enjoy, so it's no wonder that I am a fan of these Physicians Formula Healthy Lips. I'm going to jump into the lip swatches now, and then I'll wrap up all my thoughts and tell you my favorites and least favorites at the end. <music>
overall i'm very happy with this lip product they're super comfortable i'm really happy with the range of shades the only thing they're really missing are some super pale light shades i know a lot of people love those kind of shades they don't really work for me but that is something that's missing in this line there's a nice variety of different nude shades reds pinks and a dark vampy shade and there's even some bright pops of color i'm not crazy about the shade names i think they are a little bit goofy but i see where they were going with the health themed names i will say they're different they're memorable but just a little bit silly for me. I have two very expected favorites and then two surprise favorites. I love, love, love this shade All Natural Nude. I've been wearing it nonstop. Obviously, you're gonna be seeing this in my March favorites because I've been wearing it so much. It's just perfect, comfy, it looks good with everything. This is just a no-brainer for me. This is the shade Vitamin Beat, and I usually love a nice, medium, warmish berry shade. That's definitely what this is. I think these kind of shades are really flattering on everyone. They go with a lot of outfits, a lot of eye looks, so these are just the ones that I thought I would love and I did love. Now, here are two unexpected favorites. This super bright corally shade is called two lip treatment and I was shocked when I put this on I was just thinking about summer I'm gonna be going on a cruise this summer and I thought how cute will this look when I'm really tan and bronzed and wearing cute summer outfits so really liked this one I thought it looked really good on me and I usually do not like bright coral lips on myself two lip treatment came out of nowhere and I'm not mad about it. Another one I'm surprised by, and I think this looks really cute with my outfit today too, but I can definitely see myself wearing this lip otherwise. This one's called Raisin Immunity. It's a plummy, brownish, really deep mauve shade. Not something I usually go for, but also not something that I have a lot of in my collection. So I just think it's exciting and I just thought it looked really pretty. Now that I've told you my favorites, let me tell you about two that I'm not such a fan of. This one called Magentle Formula. I don't really hate the color. I don't love it. It's not something for me, but I do think it's pretty. My main problem with this one is that it really, really stained my lips and it also really stained my hand when I was swatching it on my hand. Maybe you don't care about that if you love this color. It's really bright. It's really pretty. It was opaque and all that. It just, it left a stain and so just wanted to warn you guys, magenta formula was not magenta on my lips. This one isn't too surprising. This deepest shade called Noirishing Plum was just streaky. It definitely took me two coats applying it to get full coverage and I still don't think it looked perfect. That's something that happens with a lot of really dark lip colors. So it's not too surprising. It's just not something that I really love or that I am gonna feel compelled to put on again. I hope you found these lip swatches helpful. Leave a comment and let me know what your favorite shades are. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I'm not mad. Describe these healthy lick, lick, healthy lick. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Deep Dang it. My lips hurt. They just hurt. I'm gonna need so much lip balm. This is the easiest makeup look ever. I'm not mad about it. Not in the least. I'm really excited about this blush highlight combo. So many cheek products, man. I can't keep up. I only have two cheeks on my face. <laughs> That, was, that came close to being inappropriate, real close. Don't count me out, could still happen. Some of these names though, like what is this, what? Dose of Rose, okay, bear with me, I'm with you. But then we start getting into red storative effects. I'll, very healthy, I'll give you, but fight free reticles. Mm. Some of these names, I mean, I've heard worse names for makeup, so can't hate on the names too much, but they are a little bit silly. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got other stuff to film. This is the Physician's Formula Mascara, though. How good does these look? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, gotta go. Bye.